that's sometimes what you see. And Arby goes along with it, right, but it right. frustrates him because he wants to play. Right. He's told me that. But. And, uh, and Art, too, although I think Art finally cut it. He finally, yeah, yeah Art he's like, I'm, I'm playing it. <laughs> I'm playing it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Arby has yet to as, cut it. As, Eric, as Garrett here with aces, three bets. Yeah, of course. On the button. <laughs> the eighth wonder. And Jeremy, the original opener, calls with ace four, Gall in there with threes, RB in there with nine eight suited. So four way, wow, three bet pot. Four way. Yep. Oh, look at this. That's a bottom set for Gall against aces. So this one's this one could get fun. Also, Jeremy here with a wheel draw with ace four. Yeah. And obviously, Gall has 75,000, and Garrett has him covered. So we've got aces against a set here. Jeremy's just going to get rid of the ace four of diamonds. Gall's going to flat here if he has to. Could allow Garrett to maybe play some pot control of some sort of card comes. Turns a nine. That's not really a connected card. By the way, Jeremy would have turned the nut flush draw now if he was in there with the ace four diamonds. We're going to see six, seven, eight thousand dollar bet and it's got to be a raise pretty good. Fourteen thousand. Wow. Well, how over about, bet. Yeah, how about an over bet here? Fourteen thousand. Wow. How's golf feeling right now? Well, I would be feeling pretty good about a set. The question is, how are you going to play it? Because if you just call, there's no guarantee that Garrett is going to bet after he overbets turn on the river on a sticky okay. card. So, Bart, I think he's got a raise here, especially. He just called. He just called. Yeah. Wow. So approaching well, forty thousand. Well, he better donk lead. River is a six, not. Check. Oh, he's getting checked. Come on. Yeah. So he's going to play it like he has a ten. So he did get a good run out here. Depending on how much Garrett bets, we could just see a call from, from Gall. No, I, no? I, I and he you, checks it I, back. I, I told you, oh I, he had the donk God. lead there. Wow. wow. Garrett is too smart for that shit. Well, unbelievable. Wow. The overbet on the turn. He has to raise the turn. Sniffed it out, Nick. Yeah. Sniffed it out. Uh, Garrett, I knew it. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. And that's what I said. Like, if, if you're going to just call the turn, like, you you know, maybe yeah. Garrett checks back, yeah. does something you crazy. You got to raise that or you got to donk lead the, the river, unfortunately. Garrett's just wow. too smart for that, man. I'll bet at least seven Straddle seven it up. Hands. Again, Nick right now we're playing 51 2, but. The game is going to get kicked up here pretty soon. 51 2 with a 100 at Ante. Yep. yep. 51 2 with a 100 Ante. Love that big blind Ante, too. Yeah, I think all the games good. now on Hustler is moving that way. Play yeah. with an Annie, it creates right? a lot of action. Yeah. Chris here with ace queen of clubs in the straddle. 2500. And he is going to three bet it up here to 2500. Garrett's the original opener. He's going to call. Ace three is suited. Jeremy on the button with 10 8 of clubs. Wants to get in there. Yeah, yeah he's going to get in there. And just a whole lot of nothing here. Let's see who wants this. Did Chris check? Yeah. Yep. Everybody. I actually might have taken a shot there if I was yeah. Jeremy yeah. on the button just a little yeah, I think bit. Jeremy with, should put in a bet there, with some back doors. Easy to say sitting here, but yes. Yeah. Haven't you done it? Jeremy's turned to gutter, but I think 4, Garrett is reading the situation obviously correctly. He's making that, the right choice again. Yeah, no one has anything. He's gonna bet four thousand. Come on, Jeremy, make it nine thousand. You win. Maybe tomorrow. And again, Chris is 
definitely played much tighter post He sure has, but he, he, he smells something. Although he's going to call. Ooh, River's a king. Wow. It's actually, I think, a bad card for Garrett because he might think Chris has got a lot of ace-king here mm -hmm. and might not want to bluff, although it looks wow, like Chris, this, this is just Chris talking is about gonna work. Chris is going to bluff with the best hand. 6,200. Yep, exactly what you were saying. <laughs> he's going to bet. Uh, 6,200 and could Rain Man <laughs> can Rain Man make the right decision? Well, I mean, <laughs> it's it's a raise, obviously, or a fold, and maybe he just thinks that. That's what I mean. Yeah, Chris he's thinking about doesn't it. have hearts he's here. He's not thinking about calling. If he didn't bet the turn, he's and it looks like he is. I, yeah, I'm telling he's you, he's gonna raise. He's gonna raise. And I think he did, is that a hundred thousand. He put them all in. He put a stack of five. He put them all in. in. So 62 or oh, it's a 55,000. Yeah. I thought it was a stack Garrett of five Ks. Not today. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. He's all not in. Today. Yeah. He put a stack of five Ks in. Chris Ten only seconds. has 34,000. There is no way Chris can make this call. If he does, yep. And that is just that uh, is so sick. Garrett's on point. Absolutely on point. He is yep. playing out of his mind tonight. All, right, guys, maybe look at All the stuff you say about running good in the eighth wonder doesn't take away from the fact that he doesn't have a lot, a lot of talent. Dead. At the earliest, Garrett will do that often when he says you're good, and then someone waits. He goes, Ugh. you want to see my hand? It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Chris is going to raise it up here to 500. George calls. Right? Gulls in there yeah, getting the price in the straddle. How long you have to hold on yeah. to it for? Oh, yeah. Chris just got <laughs> top pair, and I mean, if we know George, I think the Ace of Hearts is going to be enough for him to call here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How long can you hold on, do you think? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's going <laughs> to rush after the Ace of Hearts. Okay, collection is going to be from seat 9, ball 7. He looks yeah, yeah. Well, here's this guy coming in. He doesn't count, he just joins. Okay. <laughs> that would be a warm welcome. Hello. <laughs> George turns a wheel draw now. Yeah. So he picks up some no, equity. Maybe he's going to represent front door hearts. He should snap lead. Chris going to bet 17. And if I had George's hand and I was thinking about calling it, I'm definitely going to bluff hearts. Once in a while, you hit an ace and it's good too. There was a guy on the TV named Ollie a minute ago. Is that you? It was like a poker tournament or something? That's not good. He's going to make a He's sticky. The top of the It was anywhere, but. This is what you get, bro, for saying hi. I know. <laughs> Look at me, bro. Bro. Well, there's the heart, on, Nick. What's up? Yeah. There's the heart. I mean, if you get card, if you get here, there's the bluff card. Yeah. You get here. I got a lot of small. You gotta go for it, right? That's right. Okay. I assume Chris is gonna check here. Well, wow. Let's see what kind of sizing he uses. Oh, it's a block uh, sizing. Blocker, yeah. Oh, that's gonna induce, right? I, I mean, think so. If George was paying attention. Today, I was just going to induce a big race. Okay. I'm visiting from Boston. Nice. How much you got? I know you got. You covered me a lot. Yeah. What? How was the boat? That's, That's really the right good. question. Really nice. Water was a little cold, but yeah, everything else was good. From He's Boston, the Atlantic Ocean. Make huh? it seven thousand, yeah, maybe. Exactly. I know cold water. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I spent a lot of time in the Boston George has got the right idea. Oh, 10,000. Uh, I, I was thinking seven. Yeah, I no, he's got the right idea. He's going to go okay. but we to like 11. Yeah, we would do trips to Boston all nice. the time. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a fun You're going to do it. Yeah. Make it hard. There's certain cool stuff about it, but... And this is I don't know. <laughs> much different than the here. The problem so with I the like block bet is you get induced. You induce. Yeah. Whoa, and look at this. Yeah, well, Chris is going to put out a time chip yeah. here. You know what I think this is coming down to? I think Chris is frustrated, and he's tired of being pushed around. He could very well make this call. good food in Boston? There is. It's just like the... I used to live in Chicago, too, and like that's a big food city. I put it at a pick -em on this one, 50-50. Okay. Was it a time bank? He's really thinking what's about the, what's it. What's the normal 30 seconds? What I would be thinking about if I'd seen a lot of hands that George shown down is how wide he's been calling on the flop. Like, he doesn't have to have a flush here. He can have jack 10. He can have queen jack. He's just... 
just hold on. Stay strong. And that's a really big raise. I mean, that's over the size of the pot, too. That's why I was thinking he would be going to go 7,000. Very cool. I knew it. Chris calls. Nice call. Wow. There you go. caught. Ace high, and that's not a slow roll. I told you, he was not having it. He was tired of it. He's frustrated. Yep. 600. Three players. Diamonds here for Jeremy. Chris is going to call with sevens. Heads up, that's eight. Two players. <clears throat> so Chris here is checked and uh, Jeremy's gonna, gonna fire it again. Call. And a call. River here is a six, so Jeremy has fired flop and turn. And now. 3,400. We saw this, well, I wouldn't call this a block, Nick. We saw this kind of bizarre thing where Krish bet and then called. Remember when yeah. George, I don't know why he's leading here, but he's betting 3,400 after sort of bluff catching. And is Jeremy here going to go for wow. a bluff raise? 10 seconds. He sure picked the right time for it. Wow. 14, so 3,400 wow. to 14,000 after he bet the flop, bet the turn, Chris called. And now we're at the river. Jeremy, by the way, is the pre-flop raiser, so he bet. 10 seconds. If Chris calls here, Jeremy's going to go on life tilt. Well, he just put a time yeah, chip he's out. seriously thinking about it. Nick, you, you does he call or does he shove in a situation like, or, or raise? Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I don't it's... know, but if he just black calls, Jeremy's going to go on life tilt. I don't think right. you ever shove here because I think Jeremy's no, well, basically yeah. repping like he's got a nine or well, he missed. Jeremy doesn't have that much behind him. But yeah. So, you know, Jeremy has value. He's not going to fold, but if he's bluffing, there's no point in shoving. So it's either a call or, yeah. or a fold. Chris but... is seriously considering putting money in here. No. But you talked about this before, Nick, that Chris sort of was on this weird thing of that, that whole bluff with the well, Garrett. He's he's losing. Time is running out. He's tired of being pushed around. Okay. Oh, he finally oh. lets it go. Yeah. What a play there by Jeremy. Again, you guys built out that this whole stage, right? From the crystal well, room. yeah, Sean Yapel, the GM, uh, and and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Flint uh, did this and. They built a beautiful stage and put tons of resources into it, and uh, we couldn't be happier about it. They're they're all in, and they're smart. They got thousands of eyes on their casino now, and uh, they get it. Oh, well, here we go, here we go. Oh, How about yeah. Andy here making it 600 with queens. Call on the button. Our median Mike calls, and Gall's gonna three bet to 3,000 out of the big blind with nine eight of clubs. So we could see something going on here. We're definitely gonna see. Andy continue, and he's going to go four bets. Yeah. He's going to go four bets with those yeah. with those stragglers in between. Yeah. He's not going to just call. gall has got a lot of gamble in him. I, this is a hand Gull will play for another 5,300 all day long and all night long. Well, if he three bet it, yeah, you'd think. Now, we saw Garrett fold 9-8 suited, I think, in the first hour, yeah. right, out of position to Andy. But it doesn't look like Gull's in the mood here. No, he's not in the mood. So he's going to play it. So four bet pot here, 18,000. Queens against 90 of clubs. How about a queen and two clubs? Oh, how about oh. flopping chin for oh. Gall? Oh, my God. 
And this is a four bet pot, so you w and Andy checks it back for pot control instantly. Shit. Just check, 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 check. Didn't even think about it. I was gonna say it's not, you know, this. Yeah, this pot may not brew as much as we thought because this is gonna be a bet call. I think. You think Andy will raise here? I, I don't think now. I don't think he will. It's interesting. I don't think he needs to. You wouldn't think that, like, these low boards hits a four bat pop, but you see Andy just sort of snap check yeah. back. Yeah, he, he just needs gonna, to, to flat this right and it's just going to call. Be a river. River pairs the jack. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I, the way that Andy has played this, I mean, I assume this is going to go back call. It's just a question of how big does Gall I think Gall's going to put about 15, 18K in here. That's my hunch. Although we have seen some tricky play here. Would he ever try to go for a check raise? Doesn't look like no. it. No. Let's see what he does. 19,000? 19,000. Yeah, snap call. Yeah, snap call. Yeah, yep. wow. So sick. 19. 19. Wow. How about that pot control check back oh, there by yeah. Andy? Wow. So I think that's kind of going to get Gall at least even, I would say. Yeah. If not positive. 